What's going on there? Welcome to the Visceral Discourse Tour Bus. So right now we're on tour, the Bloodletting, North, Amer North American Bloodletting Tour 2019 with Dis and Tomb, Continuum, Signs of the Swarm, Mental Cruelty, and Organectomy. It's gonna be six shows everywhere. So right here is the front of our fantastic Slambulance. Our Visceral Discourse Lodo. I don't know if anybody else noticed this right here. Beautiful Visceral Discourse. It's not a Ford, it's a VD. So the Slambulance itself, oh man, I think that was like a group effort actually. It was, uh, it was just like, a, we got this giant bus of a thing and we're gonna use it to cart around all of our bandmates. And we're gonna actually, instead of taking people from like an injury to the hospital, we're gonna bring the mosh pits and the injury to the people. So we're the Slambulance. I can't tell you how many people have stopped. We've actually been pulled over twice for a cop to take a photo of this so they could follow us on social media. And our little Maryland death metal scares people so much. They're like, what does this mean? Maryland death metal, that's it, calm down, get over it. <laughs> it's where we sit, it's where we drive. Fun fact, for being a 2000 model, it's got power seats. And of course, I work on cars for a living, so we got some sick-ass touchscreen TV navigation system in the front, so we know exactly where we're going. So, the way that it usually works is that we usually rotate. I drive a lot because I'm the most comfortable with it, but we have a couple of the guys that usually rotate. They only do nights because they feel safer with less traffic. But uh, I would say I drive safely the most. So we listen to all music. Uh, we have our Pandora. We have... Um, uh, Spotify we have all of our all of our phones have different playlists on them but we actually have a baller system in here so it's got a fat ass sub everything sounds really good in here because I drive at nighttime I usually play a lot of Skyrim soundtrack because it's nice and calm keeps everybody sleeping so I can drive without them complaining but uh, when everyone's awake we've had a lot of cattle uh, we've had the new distant tomb rocking in here just because we're getting ourselves familiar so we can go throw down in the pits with them Signs, everybody. Oh yeah, killing it. Suffocation. Sick. The fact that I have a red line here, this this is not for driving. We only use like energy drinks for driving. That is for drumming. I've got this son of a bitch right here. Bam. Intense NO. That's it, baby. It's all about pre-workout. You wanna play a good show? Get fucking pumped. <laughs> when uh, when we first got this thing, it was a 22 passenger bus. It had seats, it had a handicapped chair in the back, the ones that flip out and everything go down. Ripped all that out, uh, trashed a lot, sold a lot for spare parts and metal and whatnot, and then I just started reaching out to people that I knew that did metal work and whatnot, and we got all the metal to make all the bunks. So we have six bunks that are built bigger than most tour bus bunks. How do I know? Because out of all the tour buses I've been on, I can't roll over in a bunk. So in my bus, I can roll over in every bunk, and I'm 6'5", so I can fit in every one. So these will fit anybody that comes on here, period. Uh, after we built all these, I got power inverters everywhere because we have our own power that comes down for each one, which is super sick. Everybody can charge their laptops, their phones, their vapes, their whatever they want to do, their video cameras. It's, uh, it's actually super comfortable. We use nothing but aluminum for everything. I mean, obviously the teak screws that we went in there are, are just stainless, but the actual metal, everything, is all aluminum. All the welds are done by a professional master aluminum welder. Um, the, the main point of that was to, to keep weight down. Because if you, th you think you had 22 chairs in here that weighed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds, I can take down all this metal for all these bunks and carry it all by myself. It's probably 120, 140 pounds. Honestly, I want to show you this. It's our emergency exit. Because it uh, just fucking pop. Does it? Did some oh, I broke it, didn't I? You know what? doesn't matter. If I wanted to break it out and survive a crash, I could. But this is a great ventilation system. We have our food section over here. It's where we keep everything we're trying to eat. Mainly just keep the stuff that you want to save for the road in the cooler. Starbucks. Triple shot. Tastes like shit. Keeps you awake while you're driving. Cheese curds. Curls. Whatever these are. Just stupid bags of chips, man. Anything? Oh. These are the, the sandwich crackers. What are they? Cream cheese and chives. They're so fantastic. They're so good. I've already went through like this thing. Oh yeah. Perfect for driving. Perfect for driving. 
You don't want to take anything cold when you're on tour because it goes bad way too fast. Huh. Hey guys, it's Travis up, and Randy. Woo. Oh, by the way, they're on our custom futon. <laughs> I cut the back end of it off mm -hmm. so it fits in line with all the other bunks. Mm -hmm. So we have enough room in here to take stagehand or a sound guy or a merch dude and sleep everybody comfortably anywhere. Or merch girl. Or merch girl, yeah. That works too. Waters. Waters are the best thing. Everywhere you go, you get waters. Just fill everything up. This box. This box is blocking this section of bus. It's where the handicap ramp entrance was, the door on the outside. We use it for our merch. I built a wall for it so that way we can put all the merch in there instead of having it all stuffed inside of our trailer so we have more room inside the trailer for all of our equipment. Bam. Now obviously there's nothing in there right now. Am I gonna hit something? Nope. There's nothing in there right now because we're selling shit at our merch table. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the AC in the back, it works like a charm. There's the back door. Welcome to Bus Invaders, bitches. Beginning of this tour, we had a lot of issues. Our trailer took a shit, so we had to buy a brand new trailer, which is this monstrosity. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Side door entrance, lighting on the outside, lighting on the top, lighting on the inside, lighting on the bottom. There are lights everywhere on this thing. Wells Cargo, and we shop and use our bank as Wells Fargo, huh? Yeah, made me feel happy when we bought it. It's sick though. That's our bus and our trailer. If you get a chance, give us a check out on our social media sites. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on Spotify. Check us anywhere, just search Visceral Discord. Our new album, Slithering Evisceration, came out on the 13th. Check it out. If you enjoy it, buy it on iTunes. You can buy it on any major media websites anywhere. Uh, we got a couple tours coming out in the new year and late, mid-late year also. So if you get a chance, come and see us. We'd love to rock with you.